Hi guys, welcome to this van tour of a Citroen Relay L3 H2. This is an adaptation of our Milo layout. We've combined the Kunu kitchen with the Milo dinette and we're really happy with the result. So let's take a look inside and see what we got. So coming into the van, we've got an electric step from Thule an awning on this stuff and also an awning light above the um, sliding door which is switched on and off by this switch. You've got the switch for the step here and it closes automatically when the ignition is started and you drive away. In the cab we've got a permanent USB feed which does both USB-A and USB-C type and we've got a high speed mobile router to give you Wi-Fi in the van. There's also a wolf box reverse camera and dash cam which will record permanently. We've added a few dog features into this van as the owners have got a Labrador. So the first thing in the cab area is this doggy seat belt, which is bolted through the chassis of the floor. We've also added this tie down point so you can attach your dog to the lead when he's outside the van. And we've also added this uh, dog gate, which stops him from getting out the van when you don't want him to. And the final thing we've added is this little shelf here where you can rest two plates of food um, high enough that they're out of the dog's reach when he comes onto the worktop to eat the food. Behind the driver's seat, we have got a blackout curtain for the evenings when you want to go uh, to bed for the night. In the shower cubicle, we have got a roof light up top for ventilation, which is opening. We've got a little cubby hole here, which allows you to store your shower products in and towels, things like that. We've also got these hanging solutions. So you can hang wet towels and dry your clothes. A standard domestic mixer bar and then we've got an Ogo composting toilet which features an electronic agitator really nice product the toilet is removable when you want to have a shower and we've been really impressed with this product for the first time in our conversions we've installed a custom-made shower tray which is made out of stainless steel and powder coated in white which has been supplied by Roma world it's got a lifetime warranty and it fits the shape of our shower trays perfectly so you've got more space inside the cubicle In this van, we fitted our Kunu style kitchen on the off side of the vehicle. Um, we've got a twin induction hob as this van is gasless um, and that's powered by the 3000 watt multi plus, which is in the garage space. You've got a cutlery drawer and a bin cupboard. Storage for an air fryer. Pots and pans drawer. Storage under the sink and your Truma Combi boiler. We fit our normal composite undermounted sink with the sink inserts so you can remove them. And you've got the hose so you can get into all those difficult angles. On the other side of the van, we've got the fridge unit and storage compartments. We've housed a coffee machine on the surface here, which is permanently fitted to the van. Again, that's powered by the Multi Plus and this plug socket here. We've got a small shelf which is used to store a couple of plates once they've got food on as their dog likes to jump up on the worktop and to steal the food off their plates. That's what this is for. An 80 litre Dometic CRX80 fridge and freezer unit. A couple of small drawers at the top and then we've got two cupboard doors and three drawers on each for clothes or any additional storage that you need. And they're all on soft close runners. A nice little feature we've put on the end of this unit is a wine bottle holder. So you undo the bolt and open it up and you can see you can store six bottles of wine in there. And we've also put on the extension to give you more prep space on top of the worktop. To add the storage in the van, we've got all these overhead cupboards. Under the kitchen unit and the worktop by the fridge, we've got these touch sensitive spotlights which you can turn on and off just by touching them. And all the overheads are on gas struts. So you've got a nice bit above the kitchen there for your crockery and kitchenware. Again, on this side. And then further down, we've got slightly larger cupboards which could be used for additional clothing. So you can see in the overhead shelf, we've got a couple of displays. The first of which is the Victron Energy uh, color touch display. And what this does is it allows you to monitor your electrical system. The white sensor on the side of the touch display is the Ruvi um, 
temperature sensor. And if you click on the menu, you can see we've got an inside temperature of 22 degrees and an outside temperature of 20 degrees. So if you're leaving uh, your dog inside the van, you can check that the inside temperature isn't getting too hot. But also if the outside temperature drops to around freezing, then you may look to power on the heat element in the water tank. The second monitor is for your Truma Combi boiler. And this is the new display, which is a touch screen. Uh, this is the D4E model. So it uses the vehicle's diesel from the tank to power the hot water and the heating. You can set the room temperature on a thermostat just like this and you decide what temperature you want the room to be. It will then kick in automatically and maintain that temperature. You can also select your hot water at 60 degrees or 40 degrees. And you can also select your fuel source whether you go electric or diesel. One of the key features I really like about this layout is the dinette area at the back of the van. You can back up to a lovely view and have the doors open, sit around the table with a few people and enjoy uh, their company. You've got these windows, which are ventilation windows, so you can see the panoramic views around the van when you're parked up. And we also have um, these blackout blinds, which provide additional thermal properties when you lay up for the evening. These windows are opening and they have a fly screen in them as well. And when you want to go to bed for the night, you just drop the table down from its lagoon table mount and make the bed. So as this is a gasless van, we've got all the electric stored in the garage space here. see the hub of this is by the 460 amp hour Roma lithium battery uh, which powers all of the electrics in the van. That coupled with this 3000 watt multi plus allows you to run the induction hob, the coffee machine and other 230 volt appliances. There are three methods of charging the lithium batteries in this van. The primary is the solar charge controller which is run off the 540 watt panel on the roof. The secondary method is the alternator charger so when you're driving the van it uses the vehicle alternator to charge 60 amps into the lithium battery via the two DC-DC chargers. And the third backup method of charging is to plug in at a campsite or at home uh, and it will charge via the multi-class with 120 amps. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed looking around this van conversion. We certainly enjoyed showing you the new features that we've put into it. Please like and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time for more van life content.